while talking about innovation and new ideas, uh, we cannot forget our past. India had a big heritage. Uh, we are all proud of that. In the ancient Indus Valley, a great civilization existed in which uh, there is a lot of uh, importance given for knowledge and also on the scientific investigation. Uh, it is heartening to note that those days uh, the, our ancient uh, culture has produced uh, several path-breaking inventions in astronomy, mathematics, Ayurveda and so on. Above all, in the metallurgy, we were the first to perhaps separate the metallic compounds like tin, copper and iron uh, from the natural ores. Uh, this has been a tremendous strength and uh, continued up to something like 600 AD. But afterwards, we were under the foreign rule and that has resulted in an oppression and the creativity was totally curbed. The net result is that when other countries were leapfrogging, especially the Europeans were leapfrogging in the science and technology area, uh, India was in a dark era and we have practically made no progress along these lines. There are exceptions like uh, Professor Ramanujam, uh, J.C. Bose, uh, C.V. Raman, etc. But they are exception to the rule. However, the independent India has seen that there has been a big uh, thrust given uh, to the uh, scientific uh, studies and research in the country. Major institutions of higher learning like IASCs, IITs, NITs came into existence and through that we were able to impart knowledge to the youngsters in almost all modern uh, walks of life, especially in the science and technology. The investment what we have made during these days have started paying dividends uh, so uh, to us. Uh, we can proudly say that uh, we have mastered the technology with respect to atomic energy, space and agriculture. Uh, here you know the, these are all guarded secrets by the developed countries and they don't want to share such advanced knowledge with uh, a developing country like India. So our scientists have toiled day and night and the result is that uh, we have become self-sufficient in almost all these areas. Look at what has happened in the agricultural sector. In the mid-60s, Dr. Swaminathan and his team has uh, innovated on the agricultural practices and the productivity has been increased many fold. The result is that from the status of a country uh, importing a lot of uh, grains uh, for food grains, we have become surplus uh, nation today. We are able to produce enough uh, food grains to feed our countrymen and also share some of it with the uh, other needy countries. Now, the atomic energy is uh, quite complex. The deciphering the mysteries of the atom, trying to crack it and release energy in a controlled manner has been a big challenge. Dr. Homi Baba initiated his program in the late 50s and the result is that the research institutions like Baba Atomic Research Center at Mumbai, various reactors what we have set up in the country have contributed in uh, understanding this phenomenon and use the atomic uh, power for peaceful applications to start with. We had uh, set up thermal, uh, atomic thermal power plants. We had uh, used uh, isotopes and other components for medical and agriculture purposes and so on. But when the need came, we were able to really turn this uh, 
technology for our defense purpose as well. We have uh, exploded the atomic bomb in 1972 and that marked the beginning of a new era of our uh, self-defense. Uh, we have uh, developed this uh, technology uh, of atomic weapon not to attack anybody but to act as a deterrent for others from attacking us. So that has really succeeded. It is not only that we have the atomic weapons but we have the missile technology to carry these weapons to faraway places. The Agni 5 series of missiles can take these uh, weapons to nearly 5,000 kilometers to precise locations. So this has been a great achievement. Now coming to space, we had a late start in the space arena. We have uh, uh, started uh, the research in the space as well as the rocketry and satellites way back in uh, uh, mid-60s, about 20 years later compared to the other nations. But still, we have caught up with the most advanced nations as well as the space technology is concerned. We have got a most powerful rocket system, uh, GSLE Mark III, which can carry nearly 10 tons of spacecraft into the near Earth orbit. Uh, we are going to use this uh, system for uh, not only for scientific and explorations and uh, communication purposes, but also for carrying our man capsule to outer space and back. Uh, similarly, the satellite technology, what we have loaded up, the Earth observation system, the communication system, etc., uh, has matured and uh, we are able to discern objects as small as a, less than a meter in size on the ground from about 600 to 700 kilometer orbit. This helps us uh, not only in our monitoring the national scenario, but also the international borders as well. To have a day and night observation capability, we have developed what is called a radar imaging satellites, which can look through the clouds and in the uh, um, dark areas where sunlight is not there. So this has been a tremendous boon to our security needs. The communication has really revolutionized the way the life of every Indian. We know that the entertainment field has uh, had an explosion with the DTH type of uh, transmission by which uh, nearly hundreds of television channels are beamed to various uh, uh, household directly. Similarly, the connectivity between major metros, the digital connectivity which is required for the business, digital connectivity which is required for the rural areas, all given to these uh, communication satellites. Then comes uh, how with this is being used for the benefit of the common man. That was the dream of Dr. Vikram Sarabhai, our great founder. And um, we have uh, using, we have been using this technology uh, for the improvement of agriculture, management of forestry, fisheries, water resources, and so on. Uh, above all, the disaster management system we have put in place is something which is very unique. Uh, here, the satellite-based images are being analyzed for the occurrence of cyclones and heavy weather phenomena. And this uh, data is used for forecasting where the damages could occur. Using this data, uh, one can, the, the administrators can plan for uh, evacuating the people and safeguarding the property in the appropriate location. So this has become a very uh, big advantage for managing the disaster in the country. To give an example, uh, about 10 years back, a cyclone hit the Andhra coast. There, nearly 10,000 lives and crores of rupees worth of properties were damaged. But today, even the most uh, uh, heavy cyclones have occurred several times. We were able to give a uh, warning at least 48 hours before, and that has helped us in uh, uh, saving the lives. The loss of life is contained to tens of people, and the property loss also has been minimized. 
so thus the, it is serving the society in a big way it is not for the prestige or the the technical advantage what you are doing this it is for benefiting the common man and improving the quality of life of the people while doing all these things we have not forgotten the basic sciences we wanted to explore the scientific uh, uh, facts about the uh, beginning of the universe how the galaxies are formed how it is expanding and what is happening to the stellar system and various objects in space so these studies uh, have started initially with uh, x ray and gamma ray observations we are virtually uh, orbiting uh, observatory today by which unhindered uh, observation of the way this galactic phenomena is possible but uh, our most prestigious project was uh, sending a spacecraft to moon it is not only that we have reached moon but we have explored the surface produced uh, very precise maps of the lunar surface in three dimension and with a very high resolution and above all india is the first country to announce to the world that uh, there is water on the surface of the moon and also huge deposits of ice blocks in the polar region so this has been a tremendous achievements now look at the latest scenario in the covid situation we all were panicky but at the same time our scientists and the laboratories in india has toiled and within a very short time they have come out with our own vaccines it is not only developing these vaccines mass producing them uh, for the benefit of the people has been achieved within a very short time and the efforts of thousands of scientists and the factories in our country the national leaders have supported this venture and that has shown that we are second to none as far as the technology development is concerned other developed countries are still struggling to produce mass produce this vaccine and distribute to their people but india has taken a lead position it is not only that we are doing uh, our meeting our requirement but also we are able to supply to our neighboring countries as well so this shows that wherever india has focused and uh, work hard we were able to achieve great results in the past now what is in store for the future india is a vast country with a huge population and perhaps the largest youth population in the world how to make sure that this youth population is enabled to face the challenges of the global requirements this is where the role of education comes in we are used to the conventional education system by which the uh, people are uh, trained to face the examination and pass the competitive test but more than that how to acquire knowledge how to use this knowledge for solving the day to day problems of society should be the motto uh, science and technology is a basis and the cornerstone for the progress of civilization and india has to invest heavily in this area a scientific temper that is uh, observing the various phenomena uh, making notes and analyzing the details and coming out with hypotheses and uh, using this data for benefiting the people is the way forward i am sure with uh, uh, the extra curricular activities like tedx what is being organized now you will get an exposure as to what the country needs and what is the ch global challenges and how the youth can be empowered to face the challenges i wish all success for this uh, tedx event 2021 thank you